Good evening, teacher. Good evening. ¿Qué tal? Buenas noches. Uh -huh. Buenas noches. Uh, no muy bien, pero aquí estamos. Ah, bueno. Listo para empezar. Me parece, me parece. Vale, solo damos un minuto que se conecten los demás y luego vamos a dar inicio, ¿ok? Por okay. cierto, creo que algunos van a tener inconvenientes con la conexión. Ay, y yo pues, creo que soy una de esas. Es, ent <ríe> es entendible, pero eh, vamos a tratar la manera de participar lo más que podamos. Vamos a dar inicio el día de ahora. Sean todos bienvenidos. Espero que hayan recibido la imagen que les envié con respecto a un roleplay que vamos a tener. ¿Ok? Okay. Vaya. Entonces, antes de continuar, eh, quiero recordarles de seguir avanzando con las unidades, la unidad 2 y la 3. Ok. En esta semana vamos a tratar de cubrir esas unidades para que ya nos vayan quedando menos. Bueno. Voy a empezar a compartirles mi pantalla y cuando la puedan ver me lo hacen saber, por favor. Ok. Bueno. Vaya. Necesito, por favor, solamente permítanme asegurarme que la clase sí se esté grabando exitosamente. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Dejaré de compartir y sí. Sí se está grabando. Ok. Me hace saber cuando puedan ver la... Eh, computadora la pantalla de la computadora más bien dicho ok so welcome to today's class we are going to start with this new lesson and this lesson is going to be related to jobs and also the simple present I need one of you to read the lesson objective. I want to listen to Brenda. Go ahead, please. Can you please read today's uh, lesson objective? Okay, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using double H question words as well as statements. Okay, thank you. Great pronunciation. Awesome. Okay, and there you also have a, a conversation that we are going to practice during uh, this class. However, let's see. Okay, yeah, I have it ready. Now, let me play the conversation because we're going to start working on that one as well. Uh, before to continue, si tienen si activado no, el no. micrófono, desactiven o pónganle mute, por favor. Ok, thank you so much. Just in case you want to participate, uh, you can turn it on. Ok, uh, can you see my computer screen? I'm going to play this conversation and this is the conversation that we are going to use during today's lesson. Ok, we're going to start working in pairs asking and answering questions. Can you see it? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. Me, sure. Okay, let me go ahead and play it. I'm going to play it. Yes. Let me know if you are able to listen to the conversation or the audio. Hi everyone, welcome to... Can you listen to the audio? Section two. Yes. How do you spend your day? Okay. Thank you. Now, we're going to play it because this is the conversation that we're going to use during today's class. Okay, there you go. 
In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? <laughs> Hamburger Heaven. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> now, there is, there is an expression or a question that I want you to focus on. And uh, the expression is, what do you do? What do you do uh, doesn't mean in Spanish, que haces? It means, a que te dedicas? Or what's your occupation? Or what's your profession? That's what it means. What do you do? Okay, is it clear? Yes. Of course. Okay, now let me go ahead and share with you the same conversation and this, uh, and this opportunity, what you are going to do guys is to follow that conversation. You are going to be the student A and a student B. This is going to be the same conversation. However, you are going to uh, just change it, okay? I mean, you are going to include your name. Like for example, you are going to say, uh, or you are going to ask the question like, where do you work, Andrea? Or where do you work, Daniel? Where do you work, Ephemer? Okay? So that's going to be the question that you are going to take into consider consideration. You are going to just include your name. And that will be it, okay? Is it clear? Guys? Yes. Is it clear? Really. Awesome. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, I'm going to share with you. I'm going to share with you the same conversation on the um, Zoom's chat. If you can see it, let me just know, please. I see. Okay. Maria Santos says that there is raining so bad where she lives. Okay, awesome. There you had the same conversation, guys. And I want to select some of you. The first one, let's see. It's going to be Leyland and Sylvia. Okay, same conversation, a student A and a student B. Ready? One, two, three, go. Leyland A and Serbia B. I have a question. Yes. Sorry. What's uh, your question? I just read this conversation, right? Exactly. You are, okay. uh, you are going to just read the conversation but you are going to include the name of the person with whom you are talking to. Uh, Jenny, Elizabeth, Lydia de Cortez, Norma Lizaz, and Hector Jose Bonilla. Turn your cameras on. Okay, let's continue. Okay, one, two, three, go. Leila? Yo comienzo, teacher. Yes, English, please. Okay. Where do you work? Sylvia? Okay. Where do you work, Sylvia? Work at Thomas Cook Travel. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Travel. Oh, right. Travel. What, do you, what do you do there? What do you do there? I'm going to give. I take people on tours to countries in South America, America, like Peru. Okay. How, how interesting. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, 
Where do you work? In fast food restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurant, sorry. Which restaurant? Uh, Hamburg Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Uh, hamburger Heaven. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Let's give them an applause. Yay, it was great. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, everybody like this. <laughs> okay, cool. Now I'm going to select two gentlemen, Samuel and also Jose Alejandro Valladares. A student A and a student B. One, two, three, action. Yes, gentlemen. Yes. Okay, Samuel. Samuel Rivera. Yeah, Samuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, um, I am I. Be. You are going to I be, be a student A. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who is start? You. <laughs> Me. To be a student okay, a. okay, yes. okay, okay, okay. Where do you work? Jose. Where do you work, Alejandro? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Travel. Oh, really? What do you do? What do you did? What do you do there? What do you do there? Oh, oh. I'm a guide, and I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Oh, I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How oh, interesting! Yes, it is a great job. I love him. Then what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. I have a part-time job too. Yeah. Oh, where did you go? In a in fat food restaurant. Restaurant. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, thank you. Okay. Who wants to try yeah. that conversation with me? Any volunteer, you can raise your hand if you want to try that conversation with me. Oh, I have Adriana. Okay, so I'm going to be the student B. You are going to start it, Adriana. Go, one, two, three, go. Okay. Uh, where do you work? In my name? Where do you work, Douglas? You need to include my name. Ah, okay. Where do you work, Douglas? Okay, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Oh, too. where do you work? In fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger to Heaven. Excellent. Great. An applause. Let's give her an applause. Okay, now, Sylvia, you are going to be B and I'm going to be A. Ready? Okay. Okay. Yeah, but... Sorry? I... Sorry. I am student A. No, you are going to be B. Again. Yes. Would you like to try that with me? You had your hand up. Okay. Okay, great. Now, uh, where do you work, Sylvia? I work at Thomas Cook Trouble. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a, I'm a girl. I take people on tours to a country in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. I'm a, I'm sorry. I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay. Awesome. Now, two more volunteers. Raise your hands. I need two more volunteers. The last ones. 
Okay, Luis and Geraldine. Ready? One, two, three. Luis A, Geraldine B. One, two, three. Go. Uh, where do you work? Where do you work, Geraldine? Your, your microphone. Your microphone is off. Ok, creo que tenés desactivado tu micrófono, Geraldine. Si no, revisalo, que practique Luis en Francisco. Ok, Luis A, Francisco B. Go. Ok. Where do you work, Francisco? Francisco? Mm -hmm. I work at, at Thomas Cook Travel. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? What do you... What do you do there? I engage, I take people on tours to cons in South America, like period. Oh, inter interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? In Hamburger Heaven. Awesome. Let's give them an applause. Great. Great job, guys. I'm ready, teacher. Oh, you're ready. Okay, so let's see. Any other volunteer who wants to participate with Geraldine? Oh, Brenda, Brenda and Geraldine. One, two, three, go. Brenda, you're going to be A, Geraldine B. Okay. Where do you do work, Geraldine? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. Yes, it's great, a job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In, in fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Um, hamburger Haven. Okay, excellent. An applause. Great, great job. Excellent. Okay, now guys, uh, let me go ahead and share my computer screen one more time. Turn your microphone off. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, let me go ahead and share the computer screen one more time. And somebody else. I need to select somebody else. Let me see. Uh, Norma Leticia, can you please read the objective for today's lesson? We're going to move to the second activity. Okay, good evening. Mm -hmm. By the end of this lesson, Participants will be able, able to under, undertake and use simple present. Okay, awesome. We're going to study the use of the simple present. However, guys, I want to show you something really important. Um, if you say, what do you do? What do you do? You are asking your occupation. You're asking for the occupation. You are asking for the profession. For example, the first one, the jobs and occupations. So if I say, uh, what do you do, uh, Ephemer? 
what will be your answer? You can select one of the pictures. We have bartender, carpenter, journalist, farmer, engineer, firefighter, nurse, designer, tailor, plumber, teacher, lawyer, mechanic, policeman, and doctor. If I ask you, Efember, what do you do? What will be your answer? I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Okay, Efember, select one of your classmates. Ask a question. The same question. Uh, what do you do? I, Hector, Hector, what do you do? What, what? Excuse me? <laughs> Hector, what, what do I, you do? What do you do? Um, um, I'm a, I'm a firefighter. I'm a firefighter, yes. Okay, great. Hector, select another one. Okay, let me see. And um, I chose Samuel Rivera. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. What do you do, Hector? Or Hector, I, I you need to, to you need to ask Samuel. Oh. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, what do you do, Samuel? I am a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. Samuel, select another one. Uh, Norma? Norma Leticia? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay, what do you do, Norma? I am nurse. I'm okay. a nurse. Okay. I am okay. Nurse. Yes. Okay. Now, Norma, select another classmate. Um, I am. Um, I'm going what to. What do you do? What do you do, Patricia? But, oh, excellent. What do you do, Patricia? I am a nurse. Okay, Patricia, select another classmate. I am a nurse. No, you need to select another classmate. Um, perdón. Francisco Valdomar. Uh -huh. Francisco Valdomar. What do you do, Francisco? What do you do, Francisco? Um, I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. Yay, great. Okay, guys. Now, I teach <laughs> yes, <laughs> since you have checked the information related to jobs and occupations, those are the most common ones. But I want to share with you the rules. We're going to move to the simple present, okay? Because if you ask, what do you do? That question is related to the simple present, okay? So we're going to study the rules for the, theme, the, the simple present. I'm going to share the screenshot to the, um, the WhatsApp group where you will be able to see the picture or the screenshot of the rules. The rules, guys, is very important to know about them, okay? In order to complete sentences. Okay, once you can see it, let me know. I have already sent it, by the way. You will be able to see it in some seconds. Okay, uh, let's continue with the rules. The simple present. If, if you have pencil and paper, take notes. Si tienen papel y lápiz, tomen nota porque estas reglas son bien importantes. The rule number one, it says, rules for third person singular. What are the third person singular, guys? Any volunteer? I, I, 
Sorry? The first person is I. I. No, that's the first person. I have, I mean, I want you to tell me that third person. Thank you. He, he, she, it. Those are third person singular. The rules for third person singular, the first one, to the majority of the verbs, we're going to add letter S. For example, you are going to say, he, she, it works. He, she, it plays. He, she, it runs. He, she, it walks. He, she, it understands. He, she, it cooks. He, she, it eats. He, she, it comes. Okay, so to the majority of the verbs, we are going to add letter S with the third person. That's the rule number one. Any question? Do you have any question? No. Okay, rule number two. The verbs ending in CH, letter S, double S, CH, letter O, letter X, we're going to add ES. Examples, he, she, it, watches. He, she, it, guesses. He, she, it, finishes. He, she, it, goes. He, she, it, fixes. Questions? Questions no, or it's clear? Okay. So, we also have the rule number three. If the verb ends or verbs ending in a consonant letter Y, we are going to eliminate. We are going to eliminate the letter Y and we're going to add IES. Example, a study, he, she, it. Studies. Studies. Carry, he, she, it. Carries. Carries. Fly, he, she, it. Flies. 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 It's clear. It's clear. Okay. Thank you. You also have positive and negative. Positive and negative. For example, you can say, I like cheese. Continue, Samuel, with the positive. Okay. I like cheese. Mm -hmm. We don't like cheese. No, positive. No. Just oh, positive. positive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like cheese. Mm -hmm. He like cheese. We like cheese. You like cheese. They like cheese. She like cheese. It likes it. cheese. Okay. It like cheese. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So, uh, with the negative form. I want to select a fember. I don't like cheese. We don't like cheese. You don't like cheese. They don't like cheese. He doesn't like cheese. She doesn't like cheese. It doesn't like cheese. Okay. Thank you. Questions or it's clear? It's clear. It's clear. Okay. I also have questions and short answers. If I say, look at, look at this part over here. Look at this part over here. Just give me one minute. Look at here. Here you have the auxiliary verb 
the subject, the complement, and the question mark. This is the question mark. Right? That's the question mark. If I say, do I like cheese? What would be your answer? Sorry? Yes, I like cheese. No. Look, look, you have here the question, but you also have the short answers here. Look at the short answers. Yes, I do. No, listen to the question. If I say, if I say, do I like cheese? What will be your answer? Yes. Yes, yes I like. Yes, yes, yes you like. like it. Yes, you like. Okay. <laughs> Pay attention. Do I like cheese? Yes, yes. I like. Yes, cheese. I like the cheese. Yes, yes, I like. Yes, I like the cheese. Oh. Porque si yo les pregunto, ¿me gusta el queso? <risa> Ustedes no van a decir, su respuesta no va a ser, sí me gusta. Su respuesta va a ser, sí te gusta. Yes, you do. Is it clear? Um. Ok, excellent. Ajá. If I ask you, do you like cheese? What would be your answer? Yes, yes, you do. I like cheese. Okay, let me go by your names first. Let's do something different. Okay, let's see if you are understanding. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see. Miguel, are you here? Yes, I am. Thank you. Okay, Miguel. If I ask you, do you like cheese? What will be your answer? Yes, I do. Thank you. Yes, I do. Excellent. Great. Okay. Awesome. Now, if I ask you, uh, let's see. Miguel, are you here? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see, Esther, are you here? Yes, I am. Okay, if I ask you, do we like cheese? What would be your answer? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Excellent. Great. Guys, if I ask you, do they like cheese? What would be your answer? Any volunteer? Yes, they do. Yes, they yes, do. Yes, they do. Okay. Baldomar, are you here? Repeat. Are you here? Yes, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I am. Are you here? Yes, <laughs> Excuse I am. Excuse me, teacher. It's okay. Excuse if, me. I am it's working. Okay. Todavía estoy trabajando. Lo que pasa es que por eso pedí cambio de horario, pero no me lo concedieron. Oh. Porque pedí, pedí de 9 a 10 el horario, pero no me lo concedieron. Entonces todavía estoy trabajando. Entonces por eso estoy en dos cosas. Ay, disculpe. It's, it's all right. ¿Puedes participar sí. o, o a la próxima? Eh, bueno, suspendo lo que está hago y paso ahí, no hay problema. Pero me tardo en lo que hago el movimiento. Por eso. Okay. okay. Sí. Bye. All right, all right. So, let's select Eli. Are you here, Eli? No, Eli is not here. David? Eugenio? Eugene? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, if I ask you, does he like cheese? 
What would be your answer? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He does. Excellent. Adriana, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, if I ask you, does she like cheese? What would be your answer? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Excellent. Um, Leon, are you, are you here? Okay, Samuel, if I ask you, does it like cheese? Okay. Yes, it does like cheese. Yes, it does. That's the short oh, answer. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the negative, okay. guys. This part over here was for negative only. Negative. Is it clear? I'm sorry. Yes. Positive. This part here was positive. My bad. And this one is just for negative. Is it clear? Yes. Positive. Negative. Okay. Awesome. Now, let's see. Norma, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay. If I say, do I like cheese? What will be your negative answer? No, cheese doesn't. Mm, no. 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 Let's That's... see. Sa Samuel, if I say, if I ask you, si te pregunto, do mm -hmm. I like cheese? What will be your answer? No. I, I don't know like cheese. No, guys. No, no, si, no. Si yo te pregunto, me gusta el queso. Si, si yo te estoy preguntando a ti, me gusta el queso, no puedes decir tú. Oh, si oh, me yeah, gusta. Yeah. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, if I ask okay. you, do I like cheese? What would be your negative answer? No, you do like cheese. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. Exactly. No, you don't like cheese. Okay. Mm -hmm. Esther, are you here? Yes. Okay. If I ask you, do you like cheese? What would be your answer? Negative form. No, I don't. Excellent. No, I don't. Miguel, if I ask you, do we like cheese? What would be your negative answer? Excuse me, can you repeat me the question? Sure. If I ask you, do we like cheese? What would be your negative answer? Uh, doesn't we? No. No, no, I does. No, I, no, we don't. No, we don't. Excellent. Ephemer. If I ask you, do they like cheese? What will be your answer? No, they don't like the cheese. No, they don't. Great. Okay. Let's see. Mary, are you here? Maria? Okay, Adriana, go ahead, please. If I ask you, does he like cheese? What would be your answer? Negative answer. No, he doesn't. Excellent. No, he doesn't. Okay. Let's continue. Miguel, if I ask you, does she like cheese? What would be your negative answer? No, she don't. No. She doesn't. doesn't. If I ask you, does it like cheese? What would be your answer, guys? The last one. No, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, excellent. Is that easy or difficult? <laughs> Not difficult. 
No, that's easy. That's a piece of cake. Okay, guys. Now let's do something. Let's let's use the chat. I'm going to ask you some questions and I want to see your answers on the chat. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Okay, thank you. Let's do it quickly. Mm -hmm. The question, do you like chocolate or coffee? What would be your answer? I like coffee. I like coffee. Okay, Adriana says I like chocolate. Alexandra, I like chocolate. Okay, Brenda, I like coffee. Kevin, I like chocolate. Okay. What? do you do if i ask you what do you do on weekends what will be your answer what do you do on weekends or what do you do on weekends okay thank you samuel samuel says i like coffee okay if i ask you what do you do on weekends well Adriana says, I go to the gym. Kevin, I visit my grandmother. Alexandra, on weekend, I do my homework. Okay. Geraldine says, I will watch movies. Mm, the answer is not correct, Geraldine, because we're using simple present. Norma says, time on family. I spend time with my family. Guys, I want to give you a piece of advice. If you are going to answer something, either writing or talking, you need to complete the sentence. I sleep all day. Thank you, Brenda. I sleep all day. Subject, verb, complement. Subject, I'm going to write it down on the chat. Subject, plus verb, plus complement, plus complement. That's a complete answer. But if you say, um, if I ask you, what do you do on weekends? If you say, sleep, do you think it's a complete answer? No, right? But if you say, I sleep on weekends, or I sleep all day on Saturday, for example, Okay, where, if I ask you, where do you go on vacations? Where do you go on vacations? Okay, you can start answer, answering. Where do you go on vacations? What would be your answer? I go to the beach, says Adriana. Alexandra, I go to the cinema. Luis, I go to Otan Beach. Okay. And Francisco says, we visit Guatemala City. Silvia, I go to the uh, Green Hill, Cerro Verde. Brenda, I go to the concert. Hector, I like going to any place. Patricia, I go to visit my parents. Jenny says, I go to the beach. Lydia, I go to Antigua, Guatemala. Excellent. What kinds of movies do you like? What kinds of movies do you like? Okay, if I ask you that question, what will be your answer? What kinds of movies do you like? Jenny says, I like horror movies. Alexandra, I like anime movies. Adriana says, I like romantic movies. Ah, Eugene says, I like Batman. Okay, action movies. Catherine, I like romantic movies. Sandra Elizabeth, I like comedy movies. And Patricia says, I like romantic action movies. Kevin, I like action movies. Excellent. Okay, so the last question, why do you like English? 
Why do you like English? Mm -hmm. The last question, what will be your answer? Why would you, why do you like English? Adriana says, I like it because it's interesting. Awesome, great. Let's see another, another answer. Alexandra says, I like English because I love to learn languages. Excellent. Alexandra says, I like English because, let's see, sorry. Guillermo says, I like English because I need a job. Okay, awesome. Sandra says, I like English because I need a, not, I need a job. Hector says, I love English because open doors for jobs. Great. Samuel says, because it's a standard language. Okay. Complete sentences, Samuel. Kevin says, I like English because uh, I can. Sorry, I lost it. Okay. Francisco, I like English because it's a second language. David, I like English because open doors. Okay, awesome. Excellent. Thank you. Now, guys, uh, let me go ahead and share the computer screen one more time. And we are going to read some information. Okay. So the same questions I have been asking you guys are the questions that you are going to listen to on a video, okay? If you go on the platform, you will be able to find this video. Can you see my computer screen or not yet? Yes. Yes, okay. Can you listen to? I think it's loading. Once you can listen to the video, let me know, please. By the end of this lesson. Are you able to? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Participants will be able to understand and use Simple Present. Simple Present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, Go, have, he, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you, work, he, she, works. I, you, take, he, she, takes. This inflection happens only in third-person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and thus for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word, plus auxiliary, plus a subject, plus the verb in its base form, plus complement, plus question mark. Now, what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. Okay. Now, let's move on. No, let's check. No, let's check. Okay. The simple present, WH questions. Instructions. Complete these conversations using simple present and WH words. So, I'm going to select 
the first one. Let me see. I'm going to select volunteers. Okay, number one, who wants to read and complete the first one? Just say, me teacher and your name. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, the first person, what's your name? Adriana. Okay, thank you. Cuando estoy compartiendo, no los puedo ver, por eso es que este, lo hago de esta forma. Okay, thank you, Adriana. Can you please read the number one and select the option, but complete the sentence. Okay, uh, I select do. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I'm a full-time student. I studied the violin. The violin. Another volunteer. Who's ready? Me, teacher. And what's your name? Uh, Catherine. Catherine, thank you. Number two, which one will you select? Um, select um, go. Where do you go to a school? I go to the New York School of Music. Thank you. Next volunteer, who says yo? Me, teacher, Patricia. Thank you, Patricia. Go ahead. Uh, select how how mm -hmm. do you like your clubs? I like them a lot. Awesome. Next volunteer. Hey, Sylvia. Thank you, Sylvia. Is does what does Tanya do? She is a teacher. She's a teacher. Number five. Who's ready? I want to try. Okay, what's your name? Hello? Who said I want to try? Me, teacher, Hector. Thank you, Hector. Mm -hmm. And what does she do exactly? She teaches math. So you're going to select option one, two, or three? Uh, I chose the number one, teaches. Okay. Thank you. Okay, next. Volunteer. I want to try. And your name is? Alexandra. Thank you, Alexandra. I, I choose words. Mm -hmm. um, what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works for a big computer company. Computer company. And the last one. Who says I? Who wants to be the last one? I, I, me. Okay, and your name? Samuel. Thank you, Samuel. Okay. Where do, uh, where does he do exactly? He creates which site? Do you select no, option one or two? The number one, number one. Where? Are you sure? Uh, yes. No. No. <laughs> what? what? What does he do exactly? Okay. He creates websites. Okay, let's see. Yeah. The options. Yeah, you got 10 guys. Excellent. Great job. Okay. Awesome. Now. What we're going to do, guys, we are going to ask and answer questions using WH words, WH words in the simple present. The formula will be WH word plus auxiliary do plus. Uh, plus verb, which is base form, okay, plus complement, plus question mark. Okay, let's see, what do you, like 
I forgot the subject. What do you like to eat? For dinner, okay. Awesome. Ready? Okay, that's the formula that you are going to use. Samuel, I want you to ask a question to Guillermo. Let's do it quickly, guys. Really quickly. We have we have just okay. six minutes. Okay. Okay, Samuel, ask the okay, question to uh, Guillermo. Hi, Guillermo. Okay. Hi, hi. Uh, what do you what do you do? Uh, I'm a student. Thank okay. you. Guillermo, se le, eh, ask the question to Brenda. Okay, uh, Brenda, what do you do the Mondays at 8 p.m.? What do you do on Sorry. Mondays at 8 p.m.? At 8, okay. Uh, sorry, I don't listen. Please, you can uh, repeat the Can you please repeat question, please? that question? Brenda, what do you do the Monday at 8? What do you do on Mondays at 8 p.m.? I... I to buy the for the dinner. Okay, don't you take English classes at eight? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I select the other. Yes, but you didn't answer the question, anyways. Okay, Brenda, ask the question to Norma. Okay, Norma, what do you do in the morning? I am in um, May dinner. Uh, no, 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 breakfast. Okay, I made breakfast for my kids. Okay, now Norma, ask the question to Sandra. Sandra, what, what do you do in, in the afternoon? In the afternoon, I go to take my daughter at the college. Okay, Sandra, select, let's see, ask the question to David. David. What do you do in the morning? I'm going to the... No, what do you like to eat in the morning? Ah, sorry, sorry. I like to eat... Um, I like to eat... I like to eat uh, apple and bananas. Okay. Right. David, ask the question to Luis, Miguel. What do you do in the house? What do you do in the house? Right now. Mm, yes. I am working in computer and take a class, English class. Okay, but remember that we are using simple present. What do you do in your house? You can say, I uh, do the household chores, I clean my room, exact, et cetera. Okay, Luis, ask the question to Eugene Martinez. Okay, Eugene, uh, what do you... What do you do in Saturday at night? I do uh, sleep. I, I clean. Sleep. I sleep. clean my house or I sleep in my house. Okay. I Eugene, sleep in my house. Eugene, ask the question to Geraldine. Uh, Geraldine, where do you live? Thank you. Chicos, si no están usando el micrófono, eh, pónganle mute o silencio. Thank you. 
Geraldine asked the question to uh, normally, no, sorry, to Leyland. Leila, how many days a week do you work? How many days a week do you work, Leyland? Excuse me, teacher. How many days a week do you work? Uh, um, uh, six. I work six days a week. Thank you. Leyland asked the question to Kevin. Okay. Uh, what do you do in the weekend? On weekends. On weekends, sorry. Uh, on weekends, I uh, I resize my class. I receive I my classes. Kevin, ask the question to Alejandro. Okay. Uh, what do you do every Friday? Alejandro? Um, um, Quest TV. Okay, Alejandro asked the question to Francisco Valdomar. Uh, Francisco, uh, what do you do Sunday? On Sunday. On Sunday. In the, in the Sunday in the working. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, we're going to stop here. If you have some questions, let me know on WhatsApp's group, okay? If you haven't eaten your dinner, enjoy it, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Any okay. questions before letting you go? Tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda? Le voy a dar dos minutos, rapidito. No. Okay. No questions. Vale, entonces nos quedamos hasta acá. Recuerden completar las unidades, ¿ok? Eh, los que avanzaron, qué bien. Y los que no han avanzado, pues pueden seguirlo haciendo. Nos quedamos hasta acá. Feliz noche, buen provecho. And see you tomorrow. Goodbye. See you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.